22, 23 Kenworth digital dashboards have a lot of issues. When I first got moved into this truck, I just came out of a 21 Kenworth, so I figured it's all just going to be about the same. And I hop up in there and threw some of my stuff in there, turned the key on with this dashboard and thought to myself, like, oh, that's pretty cool. Check that out. That's pretty much the only thing that's changed from year to year. And then all this chaos ensued here. So as you can see, you get the main hill assist fault, which is the big red, hey, DOT officer, look at me fault, you know. And then up top, you got your trash control, you got your ABS for the truck, that park brake light, that actually stays on while you're driving down the road. And then the, I'm assuming the other one over there, the little trailer skidding thing, I guess that must be the trailer ABS. I'm not sure, but either way, you got all those lights on. The fuel gauge doesn't work most of the time. It'll tell you that it's empty when you still got 100 gallons. It'll tell you you got a half tank when you still when you only got 10 gallons. So you got to pretty much run by your trip odometer, right? So you know how much fuel you have. And then the the dash will just freeze right up. So at that point, now you don't even have your trip odometer, so you don't have any idea how much fuel you have. And if you can't do the stop thing like I was doing is sometimes I could stop take my half hour break or whatever and shut the truck off and the dash would reset but sometimes it wouldn't so then I'd have to get out with a flashlight and like actually look it down in the tank and try to gauge how much fuel I had left well then you didn't have your speedometer either fortunately I have a speedometer on my GPS that I could go by but either way it's all a huge hassle right well you can't pass an inspection that way and of course, I got to mention the Trucker Path app. And that's not just because I am in their influencer program and I do get some perks for that, but it is mainly because I want the other drivers that don't know about it to know about it. It's an extremely handy app that I use all the time, something that I didn't have when I first got into the trucking industry. And it will show you where there's parking availability, how much parking is still available, real time updates by other drivers. Uh, it tells you what kind of foods at the truck stops. It gives you reviews of the truck stops. It'll tell you where to get your truck washed, tire changed, tire repaired. They got EOD logs. They got load boards. They got all sorts of different things that you should check out if you haven't heard about it. And the free version is pretty thorough and pretty awesome. I used that for a long time. The upgrade version gives you the parking prediction and some extra features that are pretty handy. And if you're interested in that, there is a link in the description for a discount. Thanks for watching the videos. Please hit that like and subscribe button.